All right, everybody, we are back. And I'm going to tell you guys, we have something co now coming up with this next trailer that I am really, really um, excited for because I really loved... I just, I love everything about this. So have you played this game? No, but I think my one son played it one time. Was playing okay, so, it. So my dad so and I... Cool. Pretty cool watching it, yeah. Yes, my dad and I played this game. I mean, not together. It's not a two-player game. Um, my dad and I played this game and did a review. And then I went, and this is the only game that I've ever platinumed meaning that I got everything in the game. I got all, I did everything. I beat the final boss and everything. And I've never done that before in a game. I usually get close but I with games that I really like, but I've never done that. So I'm very mm -hmm. excited for this yeah. next one. And this is a, a total surprise. Other Mike, if you don't know this, because you haven't played, like this is a total surprise. They did not say that they were going to do this. This was going to, it was over. It was over. And now we've got a, a light at the end of the tunnel here um, that we're all waiting for. Because we are watching the trailer for. The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch. So go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. God of War, Ragnarok, Valhalla. Reveal trailer, PS5 and PS4 games. So, basically, if you guys don't understand what this is, God of War, Ragnarok was awesome. It marks the end of the... Um, well, because it's only two games, so it's not a trilogy. But this was going to be the end of the God of the new God of War games, okay? And then they were going to move on with something else, possibly uh, moving on with um, Kratos's son Atreus. Okay, uh, now they have released this DLC, and it's and I don't know what it's going to be, but people are really excited about it because people were like, "Oh, there's not going to be a third game for this." Well, there's not probably not going to be a third game with Kratos. But there is going to be whatever this is. So let's check it out. So coming to us from PlayStation, we liked the video. Embark with Kratos to Valhalla on a deeply personal and reflective journey towards a future he never thought possible. Master challenges to find of uh, bind body. Uh, man, I'm messing this up. Master challenges of mind and body on an unraveling adventure that blends the beloved combat from God of War Ragnarok with brand new elements inspired by the rogue light genre. Developed by Santa Monica Studios for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles, free to download from PlayStation Store. God of War Ragnarok, uh, God of War Ragnarok base game required. So this is free. I didn't re I didn't realize that this was that this was even going to be free. So if you own God of War Ragnarok, you can get this. I don't know when it's going to be when it's released. We're going to check that out here. It's going to probably be in the trailer. What are your thoughts on that? Do you have any thoughts on that so it, before we get started? It's an addition. Is that what it is? Or like a continuation of the previous game? Like you just download and it builds on the last game? Right, right. It's like, yeah, so like it's a DLC. It's it's like it's it's like you're going to be able to go into a new realm. Because within mm -hmm. the game, within the game, they have the Bifrost Bridge that connects the nine realms or whatever. And we haven't been able to go to all of the realms in the game yet, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. So this is this is probably, yeah, like you're going to go to the place where you can open up the next realm or open up the realms. And there's going to be another one you can visit, which is going to be whatever this is. So in which we're going to be. And it says roguelite. You could be double platinum. You could do what? You could be double platinum. Ex I know. I know! <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, no, yeah. Uh, so I think that, I think that, uh, and it says roguelite. So if you don't know, roguelike is where you play through games and like you die and then start over again and then play through it again and then die and start over again. And usually every time that you die uh, or you play through the game, you like might unlock something or and, and then when you die, you carry that forward to your next playthrough, but you have to play the whole game over again. So this seems like it's going to be something like um, Kratos goes into this challenge 
these challenges. If you play, you play through until you die, and then you start over again, which would be interesting. It's like an interesting little challenge mode. We got something like that in the first game in 20, what was it, 2018? Um, yeah. Anyway, but we have a 1 minute and 41 second trailer. Are you ready? I'm ready. <sighs> I love my awesome Support the Troops Stormtrooper mug. Do you know where you can get a mug just like this one, but different? Bottega Crua. Bottega Crua is an Italian born and raised artisan trained at the Academy of Fine Arts in Venice, Italy. Since 2010, Bottega Crua has offered unique handmade and hand painted ceramics, pottery, and other artistic products. You can find these products at her Etsy store by following the link down below. She also takes custom orders, but they may take longer to ship because she has to make them after you order them. So go check out Bottega Crua to get yourself an awesome mug just like this one or the ones you've been seeing behind me as this ad has been going on. Remember, guys, supporting our partners is supporting the pack, the action pack. Here we go. All right. Actual graphics captured on the PS5 right here. This game does look great, by the way. The graphics are good. I don't care so much about that, but the graphics are good. You are certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, no. I just want to point out real quick a little an analysis here. I'm pretty sure that's new armor. I'm not I'm not exactly sure cuz you can customize the armor, but that looks like new armor. So new equipment. Certain you remember nothing of this place. Nothing that would help us. Master thyself. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? Yeah. Is this? Yeah, and by the way, this is all... None of this is cutscenes. This is all actual gameplay right here. No shame in what just happened. It's all part of the process. Let's go again. See, yep, he died and then he plays through again. All right. Mm. So this is coming out. December 12th. December 12th, you'll be able to play through this. Okay, one sec. Free DLC. That is awesome. Okay, so it looks like you go to Valhalla. What is the coolest thing that I see so far here is that you're fighting these guys. Now, these guys are all Norse mythology related because we're in Norse mythology now. But then what else is cool is, so so if you don't understand, Kratos is a Greek god. In the original series, God of War 1, 2, and 3, you fight Greek gods and you end up killing all of the gods of Olympus, even including Zeus. And, and in the first game, you, be, you kill Ares, the god of war, and you become the god of war. Okay, then you kill all of the gods, and then after that you start off, in, like you leave your realm and come to the Norse gods. All right, now... This is a Cyclops, which is from Greek mythology. So it looks like while you're here in Valhalla, you're going to be fighting Greek monsters too. Mm. Because because in the you know Cyclops are not in North, Norse mythology, um, or at least in these games, you know. Right. Um, so then, so it looks like they're going to be bringing monsters back from the original game series. So I'm going to tell you something. This is an action game, and there's a little bit of nudity in it. Okay, and that's because some of the Greek characters, they, you know, just in Greek 
historical times, you know, some of them were just naked. Like there's a priestess that you see in the second game, I think, or the even the first game where she's like wearing clothes that you can kind of see through, you know, but it's it's all like PS2 graphics too. So you, so it's not a big deal. Like it's not a big deal. It's tasteful. Okay. I just, it's, I would say that it's historically accurate. All right. Anyway, but what this, what this game series is actually about is about fatherhood. Like it actually is about and you do, and I didn't really actually realize this until I played through the new ones, because because this is a new like I said, it, there's only two games, there's not a trilogy, but this is the new set of games where it's a where it's a third person game where it's like uh, the camera's right behind your your back as you're playing, like you're, it looks like this. The other ones is where it's zoomed out and your character's walking around over here and you fight. But anyway, I'm just saying the God of War games is actually about fatherhood. In the first trilogy, um, Kratos loses his wife and daughter, and because of that, he goes on a quest for revenge to avenge them. In this one, he has a son, and he's trying to raise his son to be a better man than he was. That's like the whole, that's the whole overarching arc of the character for all of these games. It's a really good game about being a good dad. Yeah, and what that means. But anyway, that's kind of my rant. I love these games, and I love the fact that they're about that, so that's cool. Uh, any thoughts on it, though? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like go off on a little tangent too much, but what are your thoughts? No, no it's, in, it's, it's cool. I mean, I like it. It looked like it would be fun to play. It's like I haven't, I haven't played it, so I don't know what, the, what it's like gameplay, but it's got some pretty good graphics, a lot of cool weapons. A lot of diff a bunch of different characters that he has to fight, so it's kind of nice that they uh, it's free for those who got the previous game and stuff. So. Right, right. Yeah. I, I so one thing one thing that you see in the combat here, um, so in these ones there's no nudity. Yeah, I, I yeah there's no nudity in these ones, but one thing that you see in the combat here is this right here. I'll show you. So you see how this guy attacks. And then you get, like, swung around. Okay, so one of the big things that even in the original game, which came out in the PS2, was that you would fight enemies, and then once they got low enough health, there would be a button that would show up over their head, like a minotaur, okay? And then if you mm -hmm. ran up to it and you pushed the button, I think it was circle, you'd grab, like, you'd grab the minotaur by the horns, and you'd throw him on the ground, and then it would tell you to tap a button, and you'd start punching him, punching him, punching him. And then finally, you know, to kill him, you'd like twist his head off or cut his head off. So it's, it is an adult it is an adult game as far as the graphics and stuff. But the combat is very cinematic because it's it's a quick time event and it looks like this. So as you're fighting, guys, you'll be you'll be attack doing attacks like like this right here, like that. See, that's like a, where a button appears and you grab him and then you see him do like a real quick kill. So as you're playing, it actually is is um, cinematic. And the combat is very like a, good. It was like the uh, Ragnarok shanking. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, shank. yeah, there you go. Yeah, those are his 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 swords that you see with the with. That's what the that's what's on those chains is those swords, and he can like swing them around and hit people with them. But anyway, yeah. So I'm really excited for this. It comes out on the twelfth, three days. I had no indication that they were doing anything more with this series. They kind of they ended it really well. Um, and it's cool to see that they've just given you a little extra. I imagine that they're working on something. They've got to be working on something with the characters moving forward of his son and him, but it looks like Atreus, his son, is not in these, because usually his son is with him. His son is like, a, is like a teenager, but he's usually like walking around with you and helping you fight and stuff, and that's not happening here, so, so this must happen after the main, the game ends after the main campaign ends, and then your son is not going to be with you. So that's cool. But, okay, let's check out what the comments have to say to see... You know, let's check out what the comments have to say. Here we go. The fact they made a free DLC is insane. Thank you, PlayStation and Santa Monica Studios. You are the best. That is... Um, yeah, that is, that's awesome. That really is cool. I, we do appreciate it. I hope everyone was paying attention to this. This is how you make people excited for a DLC. A gameplay trailer, a swift release date, and best of all, it's 100% free, extremely hyped. That is really cool. In a modern era, in a modern era where um, you have all of these microtransactions and you have to pay and pay and pay and pay and you buy the game and then, oh, if you want to play this section of the game, you got to pay. And if you want to have this kind of armor in the game, you got to pay. And if you want that weapon, you got to pay. It is so cool to see them releasing 
basically a second campaign, probably much shorter than the first one. Okay, don't get me wrong, but like a second big section of the game for you to play for free. Yeah. Uh, it's so rare these days to see a company genuinely care about their fans. Thank you, Santa Monica. I will always buy your games. I feel like the callback to Kratos' past, the music, the Cyclops may be indicating that this DLC is going to have something to do with Kratos actually facing his own inner demons, maybe even leading up to a boss fight with a manifestation of Kratos himself during his slaughter of the Greek pantheon. Ooh. All right. Cool. I'm really excited for it. Can't wait to play it on the 12th. Yeah. Um, all right, are you ready to move on to the next one, though? I'm ready. All right, go check this one on the 12th. Otherwise, we're going to move on to the next one and finish, like I said, finish up video games. Here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after-action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.